Welcome to a new video, Ken Kobe here. Now in this video, we are going to look at how we can save our loops and also give them names, okay? So just like I have on the sampler, each sample is identified by a name. We can also do same for our um, loops, okay? So the first condition to have your loops displaying names is going to your options from the settings menu and then you search for save loop display okay and make sure that it is set to name you can set it to number you can set it to position you can set it to distance and then length but you should make sure it is um, displaying the name that is the only condition and then the second one is that just have a song loaded now what's the point the point is that you actually don't have to have the song playing or it, you don't need a, a loop activated to save the loop you only need to have the song loaded now the reason I say that is that imagine you just want to loop your song from the beginning you want to loop some eight or four bars or 16 okay beats from the beginning of your song then you definitely actually you definitely don't need to have the song playing if you are sure or you know what um the song is or you know how and uh, the first 16 beats is on the song okay so i will demonstrate how to save your loop even without playing the song or without activating any loop all right so what i will do is i'll just drag the song to this marker here okay i would want to start the song here and then what i'll do next is i'll come to the progress indicator and then i'll right click so this is how i save it now on the poi editor i will select the type as save loop i'll give it a name intro loop and then the queue i wouldn't save it on the queue now if you save it on the queue it means that when i delete my queue point the loop also gets deleted i don't want it that way so i want it on the marker so immediately i select the marker you can see that it's marks and then gives then brings the name here i want to loop the first 16 bits Okay, and then I'll send it to slot one. We'll get to see where the slot is in a chiffy. I'll give it color yellow. And basically, I am done. I can just go ahead and close the, the PUI editor and I'll have my loop saved. I'll close it and that is it. Now, where do I get to see my saved loops? You head to the part page drop down and then i'll look through and then select save loops and then you can see that i have my intro loop here okay so when i click on it you can see that it loops the first 16 bars you can look at it on the waveform display or the progress indicator now when i play I have to lower the volume a little bit so that you can hear me speaking all right so my loop is actually as i said if you know how the first whatever loop you are trying to do if you know how it sounds you definitely don't need to even have the song um, playing right so that's about it so I'll, i can just click on it to deactivate it so let's say i want to loop another um eight beats okay so I am taking you through the other way of um, saving the loop. I can just click here, this way, All right? So I've looped and then I'll just come and click any of the custom parts and then you to save it. You get it. Now to rename it, I will have to come to the progress indicator again and I'll right click and then I'll click on save loop two and I'll change it to um, probably um, instrument. You know, these are just random uh, names that came into my head. 
yes i'll also save it on the marker only and i'll give it a white color right so you can see that it is also saved on the marker and then the history is also saved on the save loops part now let's look at saving it on a cube okay so let's say let me deactivate this one so let's say i have it here and then i'll create a cue point here now i want to save the loop on the cue point and then let's see what happens after deleting the cue point right so i'll click on the custom bar here and i'll go to right click and then um, it's just eight bits sorry i think we are editing the system so i'll go to this i'll click on the save loop three um eight bits um so i'll just say q loop okay and then i'll this time i'll save it on q1 because it's it's q1 so i'll save it on q1 and then i'll give it a beige color now i'll close it so it means that this loop is looped on what on a q point let's go to the q um asap and you can see that this is the q point okay this is the hot q now let's watch here i will delete this q and then we'll see that if we still have we we'll still have our q um loop still saved so to delete a q point i will just right click on the Q part here that's Q1 right and then so you see that immediately I right click it deletes the save loop as well however it doesn't deactivate the loop itself but it just deletes the save loop okay so when we go to our save loops you can see that the third one is deleted so that's basically about it okay so um if this video was too fast for you you can just go back slow it down pause and then get through it well so that was just another virtual dj tip for you the name is king kobe and so i come away with another video stay safe eat well and make the best out of